Hey, what's up y'all? So today's pick a card reading is what do people find attractive about you? All right. So I have three pals for you guys to choose from today. Pal one is the aqua or stone. Okay. Pal two is the turquoise evil eye bracelets and pal three is the turquoise pyramid crystal all right now i will be sure to timestamp each pal and leave it below in the description box so feel free to choose more than one pal because more than one pal can most definitely be for you also what you may not find in one pal you may find in another pal so always always feel free to choose more than one pal okay also before i get started i would like to thank all of you for the likes comments and the subscribes you are appreciated all right so now let's get into it baby all right All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 1, the Aqua Aura Stone. Let's get into it, baby. We're about to see, like, what is it about you that people find attractive, okay? What qualities, what good qualities, attractive qualities that you have, all right? So let's get into it, y'all. Um, your first card is the Page of Swords. Your next card is the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, and we also have the Three of Pentacles. Your next card is the Nine of Cups, okay. We also have the Empress. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see that, okay. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles. And your last, okay, well, this is not the last tarot card. We got one more, but we have the Two of Pentacles. And we also have the Queen of Water, a.k.a. the Queen of Cups. And it says loving, giving, and psychic, okay? And for your Oracle cards, we have... It says, High Priestess of Spirit. We have the Flexible card. <sighs> okay. And your last oracle card is the angel of balance card okay so let's get into it baby okay pal one um what do people find attractive about you I want to start off by saying I definitely feel like power one people feel safe okay people feel safe around you people feel like they can let their guard down with you all right now you know this could be you know romantic partners people when they come into contact with you friends just people in general I feel like it's something about you that is very um welcoming very inviting and just you know people just i definitely feel like they they feel like they can 
let their guard down with you, all right? You know, I definitely want to start out by saying, you know, one of your main cards is the um, Queen of Water, a.k.a. the Queen of Cups, all right? And so I feel like people, you know, they, you know, with you being the Queen of Cups, you're very loving, nurturing, kind, caring, and helpful. So, I mean... I feel like this, you know, this is why, why may, you know, people may feel like they can let their guard down with you. You know, you're very loving, nurturing, kind, caring, and helpful. You're someone who will, you know, with the flexible card, I feel like you're someone, you're someone who will bend over backwards for people or those you care about, you know, you love and care about, or those that you just you know, may naturally want to help because I definitely feel like you're a helper. You're a giver. You love to help others. So you have no problem bending over backwards for people that you feel like need help or are in need or just those in general that you care about or love, you know? Um, I feel also feel like, you know, with the page of swords, people like how intelligent you are. I feel like you're a good problem solver in... You may also be a good listener, I feel like, you know, and people like that about you as well. You know, people are attracted to that, you know, about you. I also feel like you're a good team player with the three of pentacles. I feel like you're a good team player. And people like that as well. They like how fair you are, I feel like, because we have the angel of balance okay and then we have the two of pentacles so people like how um fair you are people also like how stable you are i feel like you have a balance between flexibility and stability okay if that makes sense okay baby that's just what i'm getting okay because it's something about you that comes off as being stable that people like but you're also flexible you're also able to bend over backwards for people, okay? You're not, I feel like people like that you're not, you know, I'm getting that you're not set in one way, you know, power one. I feel like you're not set in one way and people like that about you, you know? Um, so I'm getting, it's, it's a bit of a structure with you, but at the same time, you're not too structured. Like, it's almost like you know how to have flexibility at the same damn time, you know? Um... You're someone who knows, I feel like, how to work, but also knows how to make time for playtime or you know how to make time for those you love and care about. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, okay? And I also feel like, you know, with the High Priestess of Spirit, in the Queen of Cups, I feel like people also like how intuitive you are and how you can understand them and get them on a deeper level. I feel like you're someone, you know, people feel like you get them. They they talk to you and it's almost like they get, when people talk to you, Power One, because I feel like you're, you're intelligent with the Page of Swords, but you're also intuitive. And I feel like that's where the balance is. You have a good balance between logic and intuitive that's a gift because you're you're very smart intuitively i feel like power one but you also have logic so you're smart mentally as well and i feel like that's where the balance come in as well is because you're able to give like that sound logic but intuitiveness at the same damn time if you get what I'm saying, you know, everybody don't have both. Some people are just very intuitive. That's the smartness as well, being able to be intuitive. And then some people is only logic. They're not all that tapped in into their intuition. But I feel like you have both power one and that makes you very highly intelligent. OK, with you being the queen of cups. You're very intuitive, okay, in the Empress. Very intuitive. But we have the Page of Swords. You're very intellectual as well. You may be very book smart as well for some of you. 
Um, and I feel like people like that about you is a balance. You're not too dreamy or you're not just all into the intuition. You know how to use logic as well with your intuition. So that's a beautiful balance that you have, all right? And I feel like people really like that about you. People find that to be very attractive. Um, also, like, you're someone, you're able to get people on a deeper level, you know? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you, um, you were a therapist or something or a counselor, all right? <laughs> and if not, you may have heard that you should be this because you tend to make people feel um, maybe heard or just feel understood because you have empathy and compassion. You're, you're able to get people on a deeper level, okay, um, than most people are able to, all right? So, before I end your reading, I do want to pull a few cards from my deck, all right? To see what else makes you attractive to people. What else is it about you that people find attractive? Now, with my deck, we may can see more of your physicality that people find attractive. I will say with the Empress and the Queen of Cups coming out, people find you to be very beautiful for my women. And people find you to be very handsome. Physically, y'all are good looking to people. Okay, but you're so it's so much more, so much more um deeper, okay, than what meets the eye. I feel like um pal one people overall think you're very beautiful inside and out, okay? Is what I will say with the Empress and the Queen of Cups, okay? People find you to be very beautiful inside and out. But we'll pull a few more cards before I end your reading with a Zodiac card to see what else may want to come out about your physicality or just without whatever, you know, your personality, what else people find attractive, okay? All right, Spirit, what else do people find attractive about um, Power One? What else is it that people find attractive about that one spirit? We have the first card that came out. We have confidence, okay? So people feel like you're very confident. People find you to be very confident and they like that about you, okay? Power one. People like your confidence. They're attracted to your confidence. I feel like the information to the nine of cups, you seem to be someone who's very seem to be whole um very confident within who you are uh, someone who seems to have self-worth like you know you don't look for value or acceptance or assurance outside of yourself you know and people are attracted to that people are drawn to that all right pal one just getting a little sip of my tea y'all my throat been tripping lately all right <clears throat> okay Ooh. People also find your style, whatever style that you have, although I'm getting with the cards that we do have laid out, is something classy about y'all, Power One. And people like that. People like your style. People like your taste in clothing, um, maybe even the way you wear your hair. Um, I feel like it's something natural or, you know, I'm getting organic about you, Power One. I feel like a lot of you are natural beauties. Even if you wear makeup, maybe you wear min um, a minimum to nothing type of makeup. Like style is very natural. Something very unnatural about y'all is what I'm getting with the hairstyle of the women on the cards. Even the way you dress is kind of modest, classy. And people like that. Um, elegant is what I'm getting. And people are attracted to that. Even for my men, I'm getting suave. You know, people like that classiness that you have about yourself. That put together type of look. You know, uh, for some of you, a little bit of professional. You know, for my men, maybe you look really good in a suit or some slacks or something like that. Or, you know, dressy type clothing for some of you is what I'm getting. Or it's just something very natural about you, okay? And people like that. They're attracted to that. All right, spirit. What else do people find attractive about Pal One? Oh, confirmation. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So this is confirmation. It says beautiful inside and out, pal. When what I tell you, baby, 
a lot of you are beautiful inside and out and people are very attracted to that they love that you know that combination because <clears throat> nowadays you know most people only have one or the other it's hard to find people who has a combination of both all right you know a person can act like it but you know after so long you're you're able to see you know the the honesty or whatever but people like that about you is that it's like you're the whole package in a way you're beautiful inside and out people are attracted to you physically and um like mentally for some of you mentally emotionally spiritually like people are attracted to your soul or your spirit just as much as they are attracted to your physicality you know so that's a beautiful thing about you pal one that people notice and that people are attracted to because they're like wow you seem to be like the whole package okay so for a lot of you you may come off as being like unbothered you know and maybe you are you know i'm just getting that you may be unbothered and unfazed by like negativity or drama or whatnot you know just unbothered by things that is you know That it may not be serving your eyes good, you know? Because I feel like you're someone who is just focusing on more of, like, the things that you're... For some of you, your money, your work, your job, the things that you're creating in your life, the things that you want for yourself in your life, your family or the people that you love that's in your life, and just great things. You're focused more on positivity, and so you're unbothered by negativity or anything outside of what you're creating, you know, because I feel like you have emotional intelligence. So you don't let little things bother you or you don't let negativity bother you easily. It's it's kind of hard for people to get to you. I actually feel like you're more of like an alchemist. Um, you're able to like kill negativity with your kindness or with your love. You know, that's what I'm getting. So let me get a couple more cards before I end your reading power one. Some of you may have colorful hair. And if not, it's just something about your hair. I am getting that a lot of you you who chose this power, you have natural hair, you know. And people are attracted to your hair. They love your hair. On the bottom of the deck, we have soulful. I definitely feel like a lot of you are very in tune with your, you know, your soul, your spirit very intuitive very soulful and people like that and you may be someone who loves to spread positivity as well and people like that as well and nice body i'm getting that a lot of you are natural okay very natural is what i'm getting with this pal natural beauties okay you have a natural body whatever your body shape or frame is i feel like people are definitely attracted to it power one I'm just getting organic. I'm getting corn fed. <laughs> you know, it's just naturally. Uh, for my women, I'm getting that a lot of you are naturally curvy, okay? And then, look, we have the dark hair card that came out. So, first we had the colorful hair. Now we got dark hair. It doesn't matter what color your hair is, what texture. I'm just strongly getting power one. People love your hair. They're attracted to your hair. They're attracted to your natural curl pattern. Or for some of you, you may have a fro or some dreads. For some of you, you have straight, nice hair. For some of you, it's colorful. It's unique. It's a little different. <coughs> and people are attracted to that, okay? So let me get one more card before I end your reading with a Zodiac card, pal one, okay? And you definitely have some admirers, pal one, period, okay? People, you have some admirers. Look, and on the top of the deck, we got thick thighs. See, some of y'all just naturally got some length. Thick thighs people are attracted to. People, um, I feel like they may really like y'all body. It doesn't matter what shape, size you are, whatever. People like that. Like, they like that naturalness. I feel like a lot of you may be, especially for my women, you may be curvy or you may be thick. Or you just could be slim and thick in all the pla right places or something. For some of you, you may be flexible and people like that, okay? 
You may can do the splits or a back bend or people just assume that you're flexible because you may have really good posture. For some of you people like your posture is what I'm getting. But y'all definitely got some admirers. So that just lets me know when the admirers card come out. Everybody don't let you know, pal, when how they feel about you or how attractive they are to you. But just know they are <coughs> attracted to you, okay? And it's just that on that, okay? So um, let me give me, um, I'm going to get y'all some Zodiac cards before I end your reading, pal, one, okay? But I will say with the Queen of Cups coming out, I definitely feel like some of you may be some water signs or you have a water sign placement in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, okay? And we have Scorpio that came out, yes. Some of you may also be an Earth sign or you have an Earth sign placement in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I mean, oop, my bad, Earth sign. I'm naming water sign again, my bad, y'all. Some of y'all might be your earth sign or you have earth sign placement in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Mars that came out, okay. <clears throat> Mars represents Aries, so some of you may be in Aries or you have an Aries placed in your chart. And I'm going to take one more zodiac card before I end your reading, pal. One, that's too many, too many, baby. been tripping lately it's been like a dry cough so if y'all want to put any suggestions down in the comments but i've been having like a dry cough lately like ugh. suggestions on what i can take baby okay so we have air sign like some y'all listen i definitely was getting in some y'all are definitely like a lot of you are very intelligent very smart so some of you may be a Libra, a Gemini, or um, an Aquarius, okay? <coughs> All right, so um, let me get some numbers before I end your reading. The number 25 could be significant to some of you. The number 22, the number 8, and the number 48 could be significant to some of you. And the number 2 and the number 9 could be significant to some of you now. <clears throat> the numbers I name could be your life path number, lucky number, age, birthday, birthday, month, or someone close to you age, but that completes your reading, that completes your message. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals, all right? But that completes your reading, that completes your message, pal one. I thank you so, so much for your time, all right? Until next time. <laughs> all right so for those of you who chose pal two the turquoise evil eye bracelet let's get into it y'all all right it's actually seven chakras evil eye bracelet okay but let's get into it y'all we're about to see um what do people find attractive about you all right so pal two yeah for your first card is the three of cups your next card is the two of cups okay and we have the four of wands We also have the Four of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, I 
I have the Knight of Fire, aka the Knight of Wands, and it says confident, passionate, and adventurous. Okay. I'm trying to think, do I want to put that there? Yeah. And then I also have the Sun card. Your next card is, it says happy, happy. These are your oracle cards now that I'm on, okay? And it says happy, happy. And last but not least is the invisible card, okay? All right, pal two. Oh, let me start out by saying I definitely feel like pal two, okay? You're someone with the invisible card I'm getting, okay, along with all these other cards, okay? You got some amazing cards out here, first and foremost. Started, and what I want to say is, I really want to start with this invisible card because it's like the opposite. With the invisible card, I'm getting that, you know, you make people feel seen or you make people feel heard. Like, people feel seen when they're around you, you know? And people really like that, you know? You're not someone, I just feel like, pal, too, you're not someone, like, you're not, like, bougie acting. Um, you, I'm just kind of getting that you're down to earth. And I don't even have a lot of earth out. Do I have any pentacles? Baby, I ain't got no pentacles. But it's something about your energy that you make everybody feel good. Everybody who you come into contact with, I feel like you make them feel really good. Or they feel really good around you. And they feel seen, you know? And I have no pentacles out here. But I'm just getting that you're very down to earth, okay? It's just something about you. You make people feel good. You make people feel seen, you know, with the happy, happy core and stuff like that. Like, you make people feel good, and you make people feel seen with the invisible card. Like, don't nobody go unnoticed around you, okay? You uplift everybody who's around you. Don't nobody feel, like, unseen or nothing like that or invisible when they're in your presence, okay? I'm also getting... Like, I'm just diving right into it, y'all. With the Two of Cups, I feel like a lot of people mistake you as being their soulmate. There's a lot of people who feel like you're their soulmate when they first meet you. They're like, oh, this is the one. Like, that's how good you make people feel. They be like, damn, this is the one for me. This is the one. You make everybody feel love. Like, and, and, and you, you're so... I want to say charming. Some of you may be romantic, but just like you're so charming, you got this charm about you, okay? This natural charm where maybe you just like to make everybody whoever's around you because you are the sun. You may you uplift everybody. So some people could take it the wrong way, but a lot of people like it's like it's love at first sight or something. Like people feel like you're the one. Your energy is that uplifting. They're like, and it's something about you that is down to earth. Even though I don't have pentacles out here, that's just what I'm feeling. What I'm channeling is like your energy, it feels very down to earth. And I understand why people may, a lot of people may assume or feel like you're their soulmate. And I can understand how some people may take your, because you have this natural charm about you. And it's this natural, just positivity about you. Some people can take your like kindness and your niceness and your just your upbeat or uplifting type spirit. They can take it as maybe you flirting with them, because there's something about your spirit is that or energy that is very flirty. Okay, so a lot of people are attracted to you. Okay, um, and I will say that you know most of the time it's it's on an energetic level. Okay. It's on an energetic level, although you are physically attractive as well. And that's why some people could take you as being, like, flirtatious with them. You just being nice, you know, or you just being you, all right? So let me get right into it, y'all. This is just me channeling right away, but let me get into it with these cards now, okay? So with the Knight of Fire, a.k.a. the Knight of Wands, I feel like you're someone who's very fun, sexy, flirty, excited, and adventurous okay now like i was saying at first you have a natural charm about you or this natural flirtatiousness about you i don't feel like you have to try okay you're not one of those who try to flirtate i said flirtate baby i done made a word up but you're not someone who tries to flirt with people you don't all the time i mean you can put on that charm and that flirtatious when you want to but you actually have that natural charm of flirtatiousness about you it's your energy so some people may think you're flirting with them, with them when you're not. You're just being kind. Because it's just something about you, I feel like, that it is very kind with the sun card, kind. 
kind hearted and shit like that. Like you naturally like to make people or those around you that feel good or something. Something about your energy is very uplifting, all right? Just you may be just you being you, you know? You may not be someone who like to see others down, you know? <sighs> so some people could take you the wrong way, is what I will say, okay? Because some of you are friendly, okay? And some people take that the wrong way. Some people may think you're flirting with them when you're just really naturally friendly, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I know it sounds terrible. It sounds bad, okay? That's why I'm sipping on this tea right now. You can put in the comments, baby, you know, some something. You know what I'm saying? To help me out. Because I've been having, like, this dry cough lately, okay? <coughs> and I can't stand it, okay? I cannot stand this, okay? All right, let's get back into it. But, yeah, you can put in the comments something to help me out with my dry cough, this throat of mine. <coughs> that's been acting up lately all right but you know i'm gonna keep on pushing all right gotta keep on pushing oh uh, oh wait a minute okay let's get back into it because <laughs> this ain't about me and my dry ass voice right now this is about y'all pal too okay so um now People are attracted to all these great qualities that you have, baby. Like I said, you're, you're sexy, flirty, exciting, adventurous, okay? A bit spontaneous. People love this, okay, pal, too? People love this, baby. Um, They're attracted to you for this. <clears throat> you're also someone who knows how to have a good time, okay? I definitely feel like you know how to have a good time with the four of wands. Let me bring this closer to y'all. Do you not see them? They is getting it, baby. With that little tambourine and everything, baby. I hope y'all can see that. Get it, okay? And then the three of cups. You got friends. They, like, really enjoy you. They love it. Like, you're, like, the life of the party or something is what I'm getting for some of you. Or people just love when you come around or when you're invited because they know they're going to have a good time. Like, you really just uplift, like, the frequency in the room, baby. You don't even have to say much. For some of you, you don't have to say much. Just you being there. Just you have having a smile on your face because I feel like... You know, y'all probably have nice smiles as well. A lot of you have a nice smile or some dimples or something. Something about your smile. Um, people are attracted to. They like your smile. They love your energy. Like, you don't have to say much, but it's the energy that's oozing off you, baby. All right? Um. But, yeah, I feel like you know how to have a good time. And you know how to get others to have a good time as well. Um, you're very positive, uplifting, and fun to be around. I feel like people always have a good time when you're around. Now, you know, like I was saying before, what I'm getting with the Two of Cups, some people may think that you're their soulmate. A lot of people may think you're their soulmate, especially when they first meet you. It's almost like it's love at first meeting, okay? First setting, because it's something about you. It's so funny, pal, too. Like, I'm not getting, like, there's no earth signs out here, no pentacles out here, which represents earth. But I'm getting like this earth-like quality about you, this down-to-earth type of vibe or energy about you. And that's what people get from you. It's like people don't get like a judgmentalness from you. People feel seen when they're around you. It's like you're the, the type of person who make everybody feel seen. It's something popular about you. You may not feel like you're popular, but it's, I don't know. It's something about you that people... Love to have you around. People really like you a lot. People may know you or they see you. They feel uplifted by you. You make them feel seen. You know, even people who normally feel invisible or unseen, you make them feel seen like you don't leave people out type shit, you know? Well, I feel like a lot of people see you as like, pal, two to one. Like, they like you the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting, you know? Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like you have a lot of admirers. You have a lot of options, even if people don't come up to you. Because some people could be just a little bit, like, don't know how to tell you. But a lot of people secretly admire you, pal, too. People, like, assume, like, oh, yeah, this is my soulmate. This is the one. <laughs> okay. So, um, you have a lot of admirers, for sure, for sure. A lot of people are really digging you, okay? And it's just that on that. Okay, that's just that on that. With the Three of Swords, you could be a, a bit of a heartbreaker, okay? Because I feel like so many people 
are attracted to you or may feel like you are the one. You may not give, you know, people the time of the day. Like, okay, the thing is a heartbreaker. When I'm getting this energy, you don't necessarily, I don't feel like, you know, that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going out here breaking hearts, playing with people or nothing like that. It's just, it's so many people that want you or so many people that want you more than like a friend or deeper than how you, they see you deeper than what you're presenting or how you being to them. And they take it as so much more when you're just naturally being you uplifting and positive and friendly or helpful or whatnot. Some people, you know, they feel heartbroken because they feel like they can't have you. Or they feel like, you know what I'm saying, you're going to turn them down. Some people assume that you may be a heartbreaker, okay? Because you are so charming. I'm getting, I'm not going to lie to y'all. With the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands, I'm getting done one. People like how charming you are. Like some of y'all, especially for my men, y'all can charm the pennies. <coughs> Baby. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Oh, my laugh's so ugly right now. Like, oh. But listen. <laughs> y'all can charm the pennies off of some people, okay? Y'all can, if y'all wanted to listen, pal, too, y'all can ch really charm. Y'all some charmers. Y'all might have a way with words is what I'm getting or something, but y'all are some charmers. Like, y'all could really charm, especially for my men, y'all could charm the panties off some of these women. Like, mm, okay. For my women, some of y'all probably can charm some men out they, they, you know, they pockets, like, they money or something. People are, I feel like some people just assume this. Some people assume, even if you don't have that many options or you don't feel like you have that many options, you definitely have a lot of admirers. Some people just may have, just may be a little intimidated to approach you. But people assume that you're a heartbreaker. You're sexy, you're charming, you know, just down to earth, a good personality. Like, <coughs> people love your personality, people love your energy. All right. There's a lot of qualities, a lot of things about you that people like. Yeah, I might not record again until I get my, my throat together. Because <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing a lot of coughing. My throat is doing a lot of tings right now, baby. Like, damn, okay. This is just, it's just not giving right now. It's just kind of not, like, cute right now. Like, I'm not digging it, okay? Throat is just straining over here and shit. Like, ooh. Okay, so let me get a few cards from my deck, y'all, before I end your reading. I don't need to be too long, okay? Because my throat is just doing the most right now. It's just doing the most. <laughs> okay. So, ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just getting some cards from my deck, y'all. These cards is just a little bit more to see what else people like about you, like, and to go deeper into, like, your physicality. But like I said, I will say that I definitely feel like a lot of you have a very nice, attractive smile. Something about your smile people are attracted to. Maybe for some of you, cute little dimples. Some of y'all may have freckles, I'm getting. Some of y'all have dimples as well, okay? <clears throat> so we have a card. It says different from most, okay? Ooh, it says different from most men, so... For my men, people, uh, women look like it's something about you is different from most men. Even ver like I said, verse, vice versa. I mean, like for my women, people find something like different about you as well. For most women, oh, confirmation, nice smile came out. That's your confirmation, baby. A lot of y'all don't care what you say, baby. You may not like your smile, but people are attracted to your smile, baby. That smile sexy, baby. And that's just that on that. Some of y'all might be a light worker, okay? I feel like this confirmation to the sun card. You could be someone who's very helpful. Light worker, okay. When I say light worker, that means you could be a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, life coach, counselor. Any, and you could work in any field where you're helping people. You're uplifting them in some type of way. You could be a content creator, but you're making content that makes people laugh. It's just very uplifting. You're making people smile. You're making people feel good about themselves. You could be a motivational speaker, baby. You could be um, a nurse. You could be, 
you know what I'm saying, a, a tarot reader, baby. You could be just anything where you uplift. Light worker is just anything where you uplift and you help. And you could be a prophetess, baby, or something, or a prophet. Just something where you uplifting people's spirits. You know what I'm saying? You bringing light. You shining light on stuff. You could be a, a truth teller, truth speaker. You know what I'm saying? Something. Something in that nature, baby. And then we got the athletic card, okay? So some of you may be athletic and people like that, baby. You know what I'm saying? You may be into sports. You may like watching sports, especially for my women. It's me who like that, okay? It's me who like that, okay? And then for my men, you may like watching sports. Some of y'all may like working, uh, watching sports. You may be good at certain sports. I'm also getting that some of you may have a athletic body or your body look very athletic or toned. And people like that as well. All right. Oh, nice ass. Some of y'all that ass, people is attracted to that ass. And it's just that on that. Especially for my women, people like that ass, baby. Don't matter what size your ass, has, your ass is. <laughs> but you have a nice ass, like, shape. It doesn't matter what size it is. Like, people are attracted to your ass. That's something that people notice or people be checking out when you turn around or when you walking on, baby. Yeah, they be checking it out. Ooh, confirmation, sexy. What I tell y'all, keep it sexy, baby. Keep it sexy. It's just something about you. You just sexy. It's that sex appeal, baby. It's that sex appeal. Period. Okay. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. I'm really digging y'all energy because my my um <coughs> my vibrational frequency is just went up. Like I just got all excited and stuff when I came to y'all pal. So people really. Ooh, big old booty. So, we got two ass cards that came out for y'all, pal, too. Big old booty. And that's just that on there. Some of y'all, that ass is big, okay? People can't, help, people can't help but notice that ass. And there's people who is attracted to your big old booty. And that's just that on that. Big old booty, Judy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got that ass. And people just attracted to that ass. And that's just that on that, okay? Let's get some more cards, okay? <laughs> some of you, that ass is thick like a snicker. Thick, 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 thick like a snicker. Yeah, that ass is thick like a snicker, period. Some people just want to take a bite out of... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yo, pretty eyes. Yes. People are attracted to your eyes. People find your eyes to be attractive, okay? People like the minds now. Something about the minds now. Some of y'all got some sexy, seductive eyes, baby. People drawn to them eyes, baby. And it's just that on that, you know? Ooh, we got the Made in the 90s card. Some of y'all may have been born in the 90s, or the 90s may be very significant to some of you. Some of you probably had a baby in the 90s, or some of y'all was just, the 90s may have been your year, baby. You probably was back there straight just getting it, baby. Some of y'all probably was jamming to, like, Tupac and people. Who them folks was back in the 90s, baby? I don't know. I don't know. So, anywho, ooh, beautiful. Yeah, people find y'all to be very physically attractive, and that's just that on that. Oop, something about you. We got the you be you, I'll be me, individuality card. So people love your individuality. On the bottom of the deck, what did I tell y'all? Y'all definitely got some admirers, and that's just that on that. Yeah, y'all got a lot of admirers on top of the deck. You may be someone who's very soulful. Very soulful, very in tune, and people like that, okay? People like that about you, baby. You're very soulful. All right, y'all, so um, I'm about to get y'all some Zodiac signs before I end y'all reading. <coughs> My throat seemed to be doing a little bit better. Okay, because, baby, ooh, it was tripping at first, but I still need to hurry up and get done and rinse my voice, and that's just that on that. Whew, child. <laughs> okay, so um, we have some, um, I would say some of you may be a Leo. Ooh, as I said there, Leo came out. Because I was looking at the sun and I said Leo. And as I said Leo, Leo came out. So some y'all definitely some Leos. And I want to say with all these cups laid out here, some of y'all definitely a worse. If you don't, if you're not a Leo, you have a Leo placement in your chart. Okay, baby? Yeah, and that's just done on that. And then I have a lot of cups laid out here. So I definitely feel like some of y'all may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, okay? Some of y'all got like some dreamy eyes, okay, or very seductive eyes. Like it's something about them eyes, baby, that people are just like feel drawn in or pulled in towards, okay. And that's just that on that. Oh, what's this? Six house. Some of you, you may have Leo in your six house or a water sign placement in your six house. All right. 
All right, spirit. Let me get another zodiac card, spirit. So people really like your body, pal, too. Doesn't matter besides your, your shape or whatever. I feel like people really like your body. Sexy, something sexy. Y'all got a sexy body, okay? Cute in the face is what I'm getting. Thick in the waist is what I'm getting. And that's just that on that. Let me get this card thing at the floor, y'all. And we have water that hit the floor, baby. And that's just that on that. That's confirmation, okay? Confirmation that some of you may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And last but not least, we got Jupiter. Jupiter represents Sagittarius. So some of you may be a Sagittarius or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart, okay? <coughs> okay, and let me get some numbers before I end your reading, okay? Pal 2. So the number 44, the number 26, the number 24, the number 5, the number 7, the number 3, the number 4, and the number 16 may be very significant to some of you, okay? Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, lucky number, age, birthday, birthday month, someone close to you age or whatnot. But yeah, that completes your, re um, your reading, that completes your message, pal, um, two. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. Or subscribe, okay? <laughs> if it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals, okay? But yeah, that completes your reading, that completes your message, pal, too. I thank you so, so much. Until next time, baby. Y'all. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get it together. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, okay. All right, so for those of you who chose Pal 3, we got the Turquoise Pyramid, baby. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's just get right on into it, okay? Whew. Okay, so Pal 3, we're about to see what do people find attractive, attractive about you, okay? Um, First card is the Temperance card, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Y'all been a playful mood today. I don't know why. Throw all itchy and dry and shit. Seven of Swords. <laughs> Throw all itchy and dry and shit. Just dry as cough, baby. Like, damn. <coughs> it's a dry as cough. Do you not hear it? Like, it's ugly. Okay, y'all. Oh, my bad, y'all. This throat throwing me off, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, we finna get back into it. Six of Pentacles, y'all. Sorry, I'm just letting y'all know what's going on because I know y'all hear it. The shit is ugly. Um, six of ones. <laughs> we got the six of ones, y'all. I'm trying to get it together. I've been stubborn about it. I just now I say, you know what? Let me pick some tea. Cause... <sighs> okay, y'all. We got the eight of cups, y'all. We got the ten of wands. Yeah, put down in the comments, baby, uh, pal three now, if y'all know, you know, something I can get for this dry ass, crusty ass, itchy ass, like, voice slash cough I got going on. Put down in the comments something I can take for it, because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, okay? I'm just, I'm tired. Okay, my bad, y'all, okay. And we got the strength card. Damn. Six of ones. <laughs> Six of ones, my bad, y'all. <laughs> I mean, like, goofy mood today at the same damn time, okay? And then we got the Queen of Swords, y'all. It's a brilliant experience and humorous. But, yeah, I just need some help with this voice, y'all. So, like, seriously, put down in the comments some good shit, like, I could take or something for that. You know what I'm saying? Woman holding a heart. Because I'm tired of it, okay, y'all? <laughs> Truth be told. And then, last but not least, y'all, we got the loyalty card, okay? So, um... Wait a minute. Is this in the way? Wait a minute. What we got going on? Okay, we're going to put these two down here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, let's get into it, y'all. Pal 3. What do people find attractive about you? Let's see what I want to start with. Well, I'm going to say, like, one of your main cards is the Queen of Swords, Pal 3. I feel like, you know... One thing that people find attractive about you, and then I, what I will say is like, pal three, you are not for your body, okay? 
your mouth is not for everybody, okay? And I say this because the queen of swords, baby, okay? Your throat chakra, there's nothing wrong with that throat chakra of yours, baby. It's very, like, it's not closed. It's very open, okay? You're someone you don't, like, I feel like, like, you don't, like, I feel like, first of all, you're someone you have a way with words, okay? And you, you're very quick-witted. And you're someone who don't sugarcoat, okay? You don't have no problem with expressing verbally what it is you need to express or what you want to say, okay? Now, there's people who really like this about you. We, we're speaking on what people find attractive, okay, today. But I will say that, you know, you're not for everybody. Everybody don't like this about you, okay? Everybody don't. Okay, but we, we're we going to get back to, like, the people who do. But, you know, I will say that. I, I will say, because I know some of y'all probably like, shoot, some people don't like this. Because the truth is, like, some people, there are a few people, there are some people who don't like this about you because people are scared. Like, what the hell are you going to say? Because you're so real. Okay, I'm just getting past through y'all. So real. Like, you're so honest and so truthful with your words. So, everybody don't know what they're going to get or what you're going to say. And some people is a little intimidated by this, okay? You have a very, with the strength card, a very strong throat chakra. Your words are very sharp, okay? So, some people are intimidated, okay? And some people are a little, they may not like this about you. Because, especially those who don't like to be called out about for shit, okay? You know what I'm saying? Deceptive type of people, sneaky type of people with the seven of swords. Deceitful type, they don't like that, now. Nah. Don't like how outspoken you are. But for the most part, people love this about you. People love, like, I feel like the people love the fact that you're the type of person who tell it like it is. Especially if you have friends or just people who know you, they know you're going to tell it like it is, okay? But you, with the woman holding the heart card, you're loving. So I feel like you also know how to break the truth or tell people the truth without being too cutthroat. Cut I was going to say cutthroat. What is that? Too cutthroat. So you have a kind of balance with the temperance card. You have a balance with it. Like some people who don't like honesty or truthness at all, they may take it as cutthroat. But you actually have with the woman holding the heart, you have a way with your words of saying it where it's not too cutthroat actually. You could go harder. You could be a little more cutthroat with it, but the fact that you are loving, you know how to say things that's not too cutthroat. So you can be cutthroat, but you're very balanced with the way you say things. You're very smart with the way you, how you say things, how you say it. It's the truth, but you don't, you're not, actually not too harsh. Some people take it harsh because some people want to lose deceitful people. They, like, they don't want to be called out. Now, those people who don't like to be called out, I don't care how you say it. If you speak in truth, they don't like it. They don't care how you speak in it. They ain't going to like it. But a lot of people love that about you is that you are very honest and truthful. People feel like they know if you come, they come to you, you're going to keep it real with them. You're going to keep it a buck, baby. And that's just that on that. So people like that. Some people like how, how honest you are and, and how straightforward you are and how assertive you are. And some people may take it as being you you being very blunt, but you're actually not as blunt as you could be. I'm just going to keep it real because the fact that you have a balance, like woman holding a heart, you have a heart. So you're, you're compassionate at the same damn time is what I'm getting. But with the truth be told, you like the truth. See, you like the truth and you like to speak the truth at the same damn time. So that's why with the seven of swords, sneaky and deceitful type of people, they ain't going to last long around you because you're going to be quick. You're going to call them out. But you know how to do it in a way that's not like too like cutthroat. You get what I'm saying? But some people may take it that way, you know, because some people don't, they don't like people to call them out, you know? Some people are used to being like pulling the wool over people eyes what they like to keep but you're you're not that type of person like you see beyond bullshit okay and some people don't like that but for the most part there's a lot of people who really like that and respect that about you about three they love that they love your honesty they love your realness they love your authenticity okay um i also feel like with the woman holding the heart card you're someone who love heart you know we got the woman holding the heart 
card and we have the loyalty card. So that lets me know that you're someone who loves hard. You're that ride or die type of person, okay? And people love that about you, especially those who are close to you, whether it's friends or family. People love that. They love how hard how how hard you ride for them and how much you love for them. You know, um, you go hard for them or the the love because you don't you're not someone who has stuff. Your love is for real. Like you don't get no you love wholeheartedly and people respect that they love it about you. You know what I'm saying? It's very genuine. And people love that about you. Like they really do. They respect it about you. Um people really like how honest and fair that you are, you know. This is what I'm getting with the Queen of Swords and the Tempest card and the Six of Pentacles. You're kind of like all about give and take, um, all about balance. You, you're you fair. Um, you, I feel like some of you, like, you don't like to see people being mistreated or mis being done wrong. And you may be quick to call somebody out on a bullshit or if they're, they're mistreating you or they're mistreating someone else or someone that's close to you or that you care about, you will put somebody in check but you know how to put someone in check in a loving way they really have people thinking you know what i'm saying they really have people in their head you have a lot of people with the six of ones who look up to you and that admire you they admire your strength they admire your confidence people love your confidence and just how true to yourself that you are people really love it about you and you have people who look up to you. It could be people in your family or friends or people who are close to you or just people in general, especially if you have some type of platform. But people look up to you. They admire your authenticity and your realness, you know. They admire this about you, you know, and your strength, you know, and confidence. Because your confidence comes from within, you know. Um... And you don't put up with deceptive energies is what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. You don't put up with deceitful people, sneaky people, people who just, you know, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, like to get over on people, like to be very sneaky, just not, you don't like fake people, I feel like. Fake people don't last long around you. I feel like fake people are the type of people who don't care for you because they, they know that they their you see beyond their mask okay they can't shit that they can get away with other people around other people they can't do that with you so some people don't like that that you're you're able to and you're not afraid either to call somebody out when they're wrong or they not right about something all right is what i'm getting you know um I also feel like with the Queen of Swords, people respect the things that you have to say. And people also respect your opinion, okay? People really do. You know? I also feel like people may be attracted to your voice or the things that you say. Because I definitely feel like you have a way with words. And it may be something about the sound of your voice. But it's something about your voice that people really like. Um, or the things that you say. Um, because I definitely feel like a lot of you may have a way with words. You could be a good smooth talker as well. It's just something about the people love your, the words, the things you say. You're very quick witted. They like that about you. You know what I'm saying? Comebacks. You may be someone who's very humorous or have good comebacks is what I'm getting. Yeah, very humorous. Yeah, your words. You, you, you're funny. I feel like it's something about you that is funny. Power three, you know what I'm saying? The words, the things you say, the the words that you put together, the shit, you know, it's just very, you got a good comeback, okay? You may be someone who know how to check and roast people very well. <laughs> check the shit out of people, okay? And that's just that on that. Um, people with the tier of ones, I also want to say people um uh, respect the um people respect and they love how hard working you are or your work ethics people see you as being someone who's hard working you're someone i feel like with the strength card in the ten of ones you're a go-getter a lot of you may be go-getters um i'm hearing get it out the mud or something like you just you're self-reliant and people like that about you people also feel like you may be very dependable as well reliable but they like that they like that about you you know, so let me pull a few more cards before I end your reading, y'all. I'm going to pull a few cards from my deck, okay, to see, you know, what else is it about you that people find attractive about you, okay? And we could get more to the physical. I will say that people do find you to be physically attractive. I will say that with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands, 
<coughs> people definitely find y'all to be physically attractive as well. Something kind of sexy and feisty about you, okay? Or just leadership vibes, especially for my men, authoritative leadership type. People kind of like that, you know? Authoritative leadershipness about you. For my women, people kind of like that sassiness about you. It's almost like you're a... Uh, Sassy and classy or something at the same damn time, you know? Sassy or feisty or something for my women. But sexy. So people do find y'all, I feel like, find y'all to be physically attractive, very physically attractive or sexy. But let's see what one will come out my deck, pal three. All right, spirit, what else uh, makes pal three very attractive to people? What do people find attractive about pal three spirits? We have independent, yes, confirmation to the strength card. People like your independence. People like how in, um, independent you are, how self-assured you are, how self-validated you are. People like that. Pal 3, I'm getting that a lot of you are like natural born leaders. It's like you don't try to take the lead. You just naturally take the lead. People naturally just want to follow you. You know what I mean? People naturally like to hear what you have to say. People naturally like to take... Like, what you say to her? Oh, I like the cards that came out because it's like confirmation, baby. We got the classy and a bit sassy. That's confirmation. Especially for my women, people find it attractive how you're classy, but you have a little bit of sassiness about you. Like, you don't take no shit. Yes, you're very physically attractive. You have some class about you. And if you have class about you, like, even with your words, you, you the, the way you may call people out, the, or the way you may put a person in check is class about it. You know what I mean? You have class with it. And I feel like you may have class the way you carry yourself. People like that sassiness about you or that spiciness about you, but also that little bit of elegance about you. And also for my men, people like that, like that, that's it's almost like this boss, this, this take lead type of energy about you. This no nonsense type of thing about you or something. Mm-hmm. Like this authoritative, um, something authoritative type figure about you or something. This It's just lead, you know, a boss. There's something about y'all that give, like, boss energy, boss babe or boss man, like, type, sh okay? Sexy lips. People are attracted to y'all lips. People find y'all lips to be very sexy, pal three. Some of you may be a vegan or vegetarian or a pescatarian. It says vegetarian style. I don't eat my friends. And people like that about you. People like how... You could still eat meat, but you love eating healthy. You love your vegetables and fruits, and you may take care of your health or something like that is what I'm getting as well, and people like that about you, or you may work out. We have 420, okay? 420 could be significant to some of you, or some of you may smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane. It's all the same thing. And for those of you who do, people like that about you. All right, let's get some more cards, y'all, before I end your reading with a Zodiac card. Confidence, confirmation. People really love your confidence. People are attracted to your confidence, Pile 3. People love that. Some people want to be like you, want to be more like you, or more confident within themselves. They love that. They love that about you. Yeah. Oh. Something flipped over. What's that? Nice smile. People are attracted to your smile, pal three. Some of you may have nice teeth. Maybe nice, a bright smile. White, really white teeth. Or you really take care of your teeth. Or you have a nice, cute little gap. Or some of you may have dimples. And people are attracted to that. People really like your um, smile. <coughs> Living single. Some of you may be single, and honey, I feel like some people may want to cuff you up. And if you're single, this is just confirmation. Some people like that you're single because some people feel like they may have a chance, okay, for those of you who are single. And then for others of you, if you are taken, I feel like people wish you were single, okay? But people see you, it's like some of y'all, I'm also getting with the independent and living single. Some people may assume that you're single because people could see you out and about a lot by yourself or always doing things by yourself. People just feel like you're very independent, like you don't need someone or something. Oh, y'all got admirers. You got some admirers, baby. You got some admirers. 
self-assured confirmation to the strength card you know you're very self-assured people like that about you self-assured self-validated very confident people love that about you people also love your facial features it could be your lips though because sexy lips came out and right here at the facial features the main thing you see is her lips okay her juicy lips so some of you may have some juicy lips luscious lips people are very attracted to your lips for some of you it's just your nose or your chin or your jawline or all of the above when it comes to your face people are very attracted to it okay <laughs> people find it sexy people also for my women people love your nails could be your natural nails or it could be um you get your nails done it could be the color the shade that you choose the color the paint or whatever something about your nails or your fingers your hands people may think you have sexy hands nice hands nice hands for my men sexy hands for my women you know what i'm saying okay so people really we have a social media card that came out people really pay attention to you on social media pal um three so it's a lot of people who especially if you like you have a social media account or something people pay attention to you on social media people check um love to check you out on social media you have a lot of admirers on social media that may have not came to you. For some of you, you may have a lot. Of, you get a lot of people in your inbox. Or just a lot of people watch you in general. Okay, and we have fresh style that came out. So people, look, we got fresh. People really like your style as well. People are attracted to your style. Whatever your style or your taste may be. When it comes to how you dress yourself. Your aesthetics. Or your hair. Because we have dark hair on the bottom. Or your hair. So people could be attracted to that. How you style your hair. Or um, the clothes that you wear. And we have nice ass that popped out. So people are attracted to your ass as well. Um, mainly for my women. People are attracted to your ass. Doesn't matter what size or what shape. People are attracted to your hair. We have colorful. I mean attracted to your ass. <laughs> and we have colorful hair that popped out. So people are attracted to your hair. So you could <coughs> style your hair in different colors or it just could be your overall hair like i was saying before something about your hair that people are attracted to okay and we have the thick thighs card that came out so people are attracted to your thighs as well okay i also feel like people are maybe attracted to your mindset or something as well look we have two curly i mean two car hair cards came out we got curly hair for some of you it's your natural hair people are attracted to okay People are attracted to your natural hair. Let me get one more card here before I end pal three. Ooh, nice body. Nice body, baby. People are attracted to your body. And that's just that on that. Intelligence at the bottom of the deck. Some people are attracted to your intelligence. On the top of the deck, we got blonde. So it doesn't matter what color your hair is. People are attracted to your hair. And again, on the top of the deck, nice smile. Okay. So it's definitely something dealing with y'all lips, your hair, your smile. Doesn't matter what color, what size your lips or what color your hair is or how you wear your hair. People are attracted to your hair, okay? For some of you, it's your natural hair. For some of you, you may be a blonde. For some of you, you may have dark hair. For some of you, it could be colorful or it could be how you style it. But people are attracted to it and they love your style as well, you know. Just kind of going over it. Your confidence. People just really attracted to it, okay? All these beautiful beautiful things about y'all power three. And it's just in a minute. <laughs> yeah, people find it to be very attractive, though, you know? Your individuality, I'll say. I feel like people really like your individuality, your authenticity, okay, power three? So, let's get some Zodiac cords before I end your reading. Some of you definitely may be an air sign or you have an air sign placed in your chart. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have Neptune that came out, so some of you may be a Pisces as well, or you have a Pisces placed in your chart. Some of you may be a Capricorn, or you have a Capricorn placed in your chart, and we have Gemini that came out. Some of you definitely may be a Gemini, or you have a Gemini placed in your chart. Some of you may be a Leo, or you have a Leo placed in your chart as well. Some of you may be an Aries, or you have an Aries in your chart, or you have Aries in your second house. And let me get one more card, Spirit. Some of you may be a Pisces as well, or you have a Pisces placed in your chart. Let me get one more card, Spirit. Oh. 
Oh, I got three more cards. Some of you may be a Gemini. Okay, we got Gemini two times, Scorpio, and we have Sun. The Sun represents Leo. I also feel like people love your energy. You're someone I feel like people don't want to get on your bad side. With the Sun card coming out, people love your energy. People love how uplifting you are, how positive you are, how fair you are. But people don't want to get on your bad side, okay? Because you will bring down the sword on that ass. You don't mind cutting people off if you need to or if you have to. See, you have a balance between like, okay, yeah, you positive. Yeah, you uplifting. Yeah, you may be um loving, I feel like. Yeah, with the woman holding the heart card and giving and caring and sh okay, and fair. But if you're being untreated, if you're being treated unfairly or you see someone else being tr treated unfairly, you don't mind bringing the sword down on their ass. You don't mind cutting somebody off or you don't mind putting somebody in their place or telling a person what it is, what it ain't, or telling a person like it is, okay? And people like that balance about you. People like that. People like that you're not a pushover, okay? Now, let's get some numbers before I end your reading, pal three. The number 40, the number 10... The number one, the number three, the number six, the number 11, the number 44. And the number six and seven and eight may be significant to some of you. Now, oh, also the number 33 may be significant to some of you as well, okay? <laughs> now, the number sign name could be your life half number, a lucky number, your age, birthday, birthday month, or someone close to your age. But um, <clears throat> that completes your reading, that completes your message, pal. Three, if it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. Or subscribe. If it did not, feel free to go on my channel and check out my pick a card messages playlist. I thank you so, so much, pal three. Until next time.